Ryan Edwards was arrested for violating an order of protection. On February 10, 2023, Mackenzie Edwards opened her back door to police officers in Hamilton County, Tennessee. Allegedly, Ryan Edwards destroyed the house he once shared with Mackenzie and their kids. The unbelievable scene was captured on a police body cam, and the truth behind this disturbing situation will shock you. The police officers who arrived at Mac's house couldn't even get through the front door. A living room couch had been flipped over, and it was blocking the main entrance. Law enforcement gathered outside would later describe the inside of the house as nasty, bad, and horrendous. It apparently smelled disgusting, too. Mac had filed an order with the court to protect her and her family against Ryan. She did that on February 8th. So if Ryan did destroy his former house, he would be charged for that, too. Mac requested the protection order after a shockingly vicious incident with Ryan. This happened on January 15th, 2023. The incident was so disturbing, Mac had a co-worker call 911. So the police were called on February 10th to officially charge Ryan with violating the protection order. But Ryan was nowhere to be seen. Later that day, officers found Ryan at work, and another shocking video was released of Ryan in handcuffs. You won't believe what Ryan said in the video as he was being led away by the police. Ryan claimed that an officer told him he could go to the house and get his stuff. He claimed that he did not enter the house to destroy it. Ryan said that he went to the house, and he said that the damage was already done. In the police footage of Mac's destroyed house, officers found their way through the garage area into the kitchen. Holes had been punched through the walls, the kitchen cupboards, and even the fridge had been emptied. There was a mess all over the countertops, the kitchen island, and everywhere you looked on the floor. Items were smashed or broken, and it was heartbreaking to see how Ryan's kids were affected by this devastation too. In Jagger and Stella's bedrooms, the toys were smashed. Just as disturbing were the slurs and spray-painted graffiti covering the walls. In Mac's bedroom, expletives had been sprayed on the headboard, mirrors were shattered, and cupboards broken. But as horrible as it looked in there, according to the police officers, it smelled horrible too. One officer even said something unbelievable. They told another officer after entering Mac's destroyed bedroom to watch their step. After encountering the mess of crashed items downstairs and in the kids' bedrooms, the first officer who came into Mac's bedroom apparently smelled human waste, and they were concerned that their fellow officer might step in something. While that is disgusting, the destroyed basement in the house gave officers a big hint that Ryan wasn't telling the truth. Even though most of the basement was as heavily damaged as the main and second floors of Mac's house, the officers noticed something shocking. There were electronics and tools in the basement that weren't touched at all. One officer said knowingly to the other, he didn't destroy his stuff. Mac was photographed sobbing during the entire incident. She had formally separated from Ryan in January 2023, around the same time that she filed that protection order. But shockingly, Mac was still getting blamed on the Teen Mom OG and Teen Mom 2 Reddit. This time, she couldn't make Macy the scapegoat for her problems because Mac stood by Ryan for years, and she chose to have kids with him when she knew that Ryan had serious issues with substances. The harshest criticism was why Mac had chosen to have kids with Ryan at all. It was even suggested that Mac was only in it for the TV fame and money. While that's one opinion, the fact remains that the home where Mac was raising her children was destroyed, and there's a very real concern about how this terrible situation will affect Jagger and Stella. Mac got emotional about her kids while the police officers were documenting the scene. Apparently, her tearful comments got captured on the police cam footage, and Mac said something shocking. She told the police that Jagger and Stella had seen their destroyed house, and while her kids had begged her to come home, Mac had to tell them that they couldn't right now. Jagger and Stella have generally been kept out of the public eye. Although Mac did give us a personal glimpse into their private lives last month, it looks like Mac is trying to keep things as normal as possible for her kids. Mac uploaded a sweet photo on her Instagram. It was a snow day, and the kids smiled as they made snowballs together. Well-wishers commented on the picture, and many couldn't believe how big the kids have gotten. Ryan is really missing out on so much. He needs to do time and get help for the harm he has done and the life-threatening problems he has. His own parents must know that, but it seems like Jen and Larry keep playing the victims. There was an explosive scene in a Tennessee courtroom on April 20th, 2023. Ryan was making an appearance in front of the judge. He was facing not just one, but four separate charges. Jen and Larry were sitting in the back row during the proceedings when something shocking and unexpected happened. Mac entered the courtroom. But if Mac realized that Jen and Larry were there, she ignored her soon-to-be ex-in-laws. This prompted an insane reaction from Jen. Jen began to cry as she fled the courtroom. She didn't reappear for 10 minutes. When Jen returned, a source said that she looked emotional and upset. And after Ryan was sentenced to almost one year in prison, Jen and Larry apparently left the courtroom first, and they did not speak to Mac. At least Jen and Larry got to go home. It will take months for Mac to rebuild her home. Ryan got led away in handcuffs wearing his orange prison jumpsuit. His current legal troubles began when he violated probation. He was accused of leaving a treatment facility in Austin, Texas two weeks too early. On April 7th, an officer in Chattanooga, Tennessee got dispatched to a call involving Ryan in a white pickup truck. The officer found Ryan unawake and not alert. And you won't believe this, but the truck Ryan was in was still running. The fire department had to be called to break into 
into the locked truck, and Ryan had to be given medicine just to wake up. Officers found substances in baggies in Ryan's truck. During this court hearing on April 20th, the state's prosecutor blasted Ryan for ruining his third opportunity to stay in rehab. The prosecutor did not hold back in describing Ryan's bad behavior and what it meant. In court, the prosecutor said that Ryan could have seriously injured someone when he was behind the wheel. She said that Ryan was a danger to himself and the public, and the most shocking thing she said was that Ryan had to get clean or he'd end up losing his life. While Ryan's lawyer agreed with the prosecution that Ryan had a substance problem, Ryan's lawyer also made a shocking claim about him. They said that there was a good person deep inside of Ryan who was wanting to get out. And while Ryan's lawyer shockingly believed that Ryan needed time to be punished, they said that everyone wanted the best for him in their small town. And when it came time for the judge to speak, what they said was unbelievable. Shockingly, the judge said that Ryan could have passed away on April 7th. The judge said to Ryan, I am trying to save you. The judge also agreed with the prosecution that Ryan was a danger to himself and the community. So the judge ordered Ryan to do time. The judge apparently hopes that Ryan will get clean, and if Ryan succeeds, another rehab treatment method will be discussed. Apparently everyone in that courtroom knows that Ryan is in serious trouble, so for the sake of his kids, we can only hope that Ryan grows up and gets clean too. But what do you guys think? Do you think Ryan deserves another shot at rehab? Do you feel any sympathy for Mac and especially Little Jagger and Stella? What about Jen and Larry? Let me know in the comments below.